good morning everyone welcome to my channel space remote sensing and gis so today uh, we are come with a very exciting lecture over the map series okay in arcgis pro okay data driven page or you can say the macbook how we're going to prepare inside arcgis pro so that we will going to discuss okay so here uh, uh, if you see uh, this particular tutorial we are actually going to create the series of the map using the arcgis pro okay so it is also has been called in arcgis desktop if you see it is a creating data driven pages inside arcgis pro. okay so how we're going to do that so we're going to discuss that so let's start the demonstration so let's open the arcgis pro first and uh, i have one uh, boundary of uh, my area local area so i will just going to open that uh, so for this <coughs> one minute so I need to open that just a, so this is the idea uh, shape file which I take in for my analysis so I will just make it as a hollow so that I can identify it okay so I will make the boundary red and make it little increase the sign so this is the uh, area of the map which I want to uh, uh, you can say uh, the create a map book on that particular area okay so let's see how we'll do so this is the study area of my uh, where I am staying this Gorfa which I want to create a map series book of uh, 1 is to 500 meter scale okay so let's see how we're going to do that so very first steps which you have to do that you have to open up uh, layouts okay so you need to go to the insert okay in the new layouts okay so you have options here so i'm just going to take uh, this uh, layout for representing my maps okay so click on that so once you click on that uh, you want to add the map with this which you are already seen there so i will take this as a map frame okay so i will just click over this and uh, <coughs> i will just create a map like this way okay so whatever i want i will just select like this so if you want to focus only this area uh, then we just right click on this and click on the zoom tool here so it will focus over the area which we want actually okay and if you want to give the map heading and all those things so uh, the text field you can add like this okay so as of now i'm not going to add anything just to show you if you want to add any kind of text information you can add over here okay so now why we required uh, this uh, uh, map series if you see suppose here i will change the scale in suppose 500 meter i will enter so see this is covering a small part of that particular area okay so it is not covering the full map so that is the reason we required the map series which is actually covering 500 meter scale for the each box which is covering my total area okay so to creating the map series okay so what we want we want to create a grid okay so for the each scene we want to create a grid and that grid we can create from here if you go in the analysis tab under the toolbox okay so if you come to the toolbox so here you have the cartographic tools under the cartographic tools you have the map series okay so here you can create a grid index feature for this particular analysis okay <clears throat> so what it is actually doing the grid index feature so it will uh, divide my total study area okay so that is the idea total study area in some particular boxes okay so the the according to the polygon height and width it will going to create when i will just going to input my uh, the study area so accordingly it will create the boxes okay so that only we will going to do it now so now for this particular thing i am just going to select the garfa area okay so that is my study area okay so once i will give it so it will going to load so once it is loaded okay so you see this is the uh, you can say the output which will going to create for that okay so i will going to take this in by default whatever location but if you want to change so you can click on this browse and you can change wherever you want to save so now you want to uh, change the unit over here you see here this is a, is a decimal degree so what do you want that is we are going to create it as a us survey 
are linked okay so that we are going to provide and uh, uh, that is uh, the very important steps which you have to per, uh, select before you want to perform that particular tool you want to run another important things which you have to do that is you have to select here as a uh, use the page unit and scales okay so if you see this uh, page unit and scale uh, it is basically your uh, this map uh, you can you can check from this particular map uh, property okay so if you just right click go to the property okay so if you see uh, <coughs> that this map frame see this is actually the same which is actually seen here so 19.87 and 12.33 so this is actually your this one 19.87 it's site 9 okay and 12.33 so it is 2.23 so that is how it is coming okay so you can cross check uh, before you have to process that okay and uh, there is map scale is also there as i already mentioned we are going for the 500 meter map scale so obviously we can go for that much only okay so uh, we are actually uh, going to cover uh, this full area so but uh, the map scale will be the 500 meter scale only we are going to give here as an input okay so uh, now you see if i give that much so how many are we going to create okay so that is you see number of rows will be the 5 and number of columns will be the 8 so that we are going to select ok so uh, let us see rest of the things will be the default and you can run this process now so let us run and see the results see so now this is the results and which is covering the total study area in the all the boxes which I just want ok now if you want to uh, change the color of this map so that you can do uh, from here also like here you can click and uh, you can change this uh, grid line box so that it will be easier to for you to understand okay so you can apply it and you can see here uh, the layouts it is also coming perfect okay so now we are going to create each index into a single map okay so that we will going to so doing this now we are going to take uh, the help of this particular map series options okay so let's see so to activate in this map series first you have to go here over the layouts and go to the property okay and here you see you have options for the map series so here it is selecting as a none so you have to drop and you have to select the spatial so that you have to fix it and then uh, you need to check it is selecting your grid line curve also that is your uh, things it, it should be selected in there in the in the extent you can see uh, this is uh, the margin size okay so uh, here we can check accordingly whatever is coming but here we are going to perform with the center material that we have to check first and then we will go for it okay we will show you that okay but this is very important means the layer which you is going to select of the grid line so that should be selected over here so here in the name field you can select the page name that is fine but in the short field uh, you can go for the page number you can just drop down and select the page number also okay so now uh, if you see here if in the max extent if i go with the base fix extent so by the 10 percent base fix extents it will take it automatically okay so if you see if i click on the okay and see accordingly it is actually placed so now uh, if you want to uh, activate the level okay so then you come here and select the map frame okay so and uh, the grid line okay so if you go here go to the label okay so you can give the label for the each uh, uh, that grid so then it will identify easily so you can go with the page number okay so and uh, you can make it little bigger uh, like uh, suppose 48 i give and the color i will give in as a red okay so you can label it okay so now you see you can able to see the boxes like that okay now if you want to uh, come back to uh, this uh, uh, map frame so you can come back over there again okay so let's see next what how we're going to do that so that basically if you see uh, which we have to come back to our map property again okay so here uh, one thing you see once i give that so this is the this much how the maps are will going to break out okay according to the window okay and uh, if you want our uh, want to uh, break out okay so you can open the property again and you can change it accordingly like map extend i can change it from the center meridian scale so this is thousand so if i want to go for the 500 meters so i can change it from here okay so like 500 okay so that i can do it from here 
okay so now if i i fix it for 500 so if you click on okay so you see uh, it is uh, changed as a 500 but here you have to change your map scale also in 500 okay so that is important steps to perform now so now my series is exactly with this particular frame okay so now it is done actually now my work is done over the settings so we have to go and share this map series so you can go to the share okay and you can share uh, export the layouts okay so if you see here uh, we have you can simply click it so it's by default it will come jpeg so if you want to change in a pdf so you can select it as a pdf okay and you have to go to the map series accessibility so here you have to come you have to come to this page okay so here uh, you see if you want all the 28 pages so then you can go with all 28 pages okay and uh, you see here here we have options for multiple file page with the sufficient name or you want a uh, multiple files uh, page number with a sufficient or the single files means one single pdf it will create okay or it will create the multiple pdfs so accordingly you can select it so i can generate it in a multiple pdf file suppose okay and you want to save it so you can give some locations where it will save okay uh, under the folder I can go uh, suppose here under 2023 okay so I can give a name as a girl file girl file map series layout okay so pdf so click on okay so it will be saved you can come to the map series again and check everything will be fine then uh, you just need to export this map that's all okay so you need to wait for a few minutes and you will get the results let's wait for the result so it is still processing once it will done i will show you the result so you to see 25 pdfs so 28 uh, six times okay now seven times like that it will go with the 28 times and you will get the results in the final output let's wait for it so as we've seen the uh, result is done so if you go in a folder so you can able to see the maps you see here 28 maps is created so if you go for it so one by one uh, it can visible okay so this is the first map and if you want to go and see the second map okay so like that way you can create your map book and if i created this in a single pdf then it will create in a single map it will come all this together okay so for that nothing uh, uh, you just come here and uh, in the map series you can simply change it as a single file that is the only thing you have to do okay so and you can change this uh, particular name as a two girl format like that <laughs> these two things is actually need to do and you can just simply uh, run it okay and see the results that's all okay so now if you see uh, this is the results of that you can see the results okay like the map series of the total it is coming one by one by one like 28 pages okay in a single pdf also it is come. so if you want to create a multiple pdf you want to create or if you want to create a single pdf so that also you can able to do so this is all about uh, this particular uh, you can say uh, the session so i hope you like it so many people actually requested me how we're going to do with the map series inside ArcGIS Pro. So this is the process. Okay. So thank you. So if you like this lecture, please share with others and please give your comments. Okay. How you like this. So thank you. Thank you all.